Because it will have to be in game week and go into a season where you're going to have some productive be on field. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really exciting. I know we've all heard the buzz around campus and uh, the fan base and everybody excited for this year. So uh, being in that everyday grind of fall camp is, is finally over. And now we're turned into a new grind and just game planning. It's something that I'm used to. Some young guys are, are getting used to. And um, I'm excited. I really am. We got a deep room and uh, a really fun room. So I'm, I'm excited for this week to be game week and to start trying to play against somebody else other than our own guys. Yeah, Luke, uh, you guys got a talented quarterback, but we can kind of separate himself. What has he done in practice that really stood out to me to say that he's the guy to lead this team? Yeah, I think if you're going to be a, a quarterback in this league, you have to be confident. I think his confidence has um, definitely helped him out and his leadership ability, just being able to uh, have a good play, have a bad play, flush a bad play, and then have another, have another good play to follow it. I think that's been a huge part of his success and why he's kind of um, in that role now. Uh, so we're, we're ready to follow him, and uh, you always need a quarterback who's got a little bit of uh, swagger in him. we got a, a room that's got plenty of that. So, um, yeah, it's been exciting to watch, and I'm excited to watch it this week. Yeah, I think just how, I mean, how much fun we're going to have on the field. I think uh, we've grown really close as a team. We've got a bunch of different moving parts, people from all over, uh, transfer portal, new guys. Um, and really the main thing for us has been just to get to know each other, just to know each other deeper than just a number on the back of the jersey or uh, last name or something like that. So we are a really close team and uh, expect to have a lot of fun this season. Yeah, mine, mine has really just been to live in the moment, uh, not to look ahead. I feel like in the past, I've found myself looking ahead to this game or uh, the season or um, how can we do this better in the future. And really, uh, it's been preached to us and we've kind of bought into each and every day is its own day. Uh, it's our, our a day to get better, a day to progress. And I feel like that's helped us on the field and off the field. I mean. I mentioned the relationship aspect of things, and that's that's another big key to it. Just taking each and every day and living in that moment, having a positive outlook, um, a certain gratitude about you, that's something that I've taken away. Hi, Luke. Uh, Coach Free said he's not sure if the running game's really good or there's some problems with the rush defense. What's your take on it? I think um, I think our running game is really good. I think you guys have, have seen it even in the past. There's some familiar names in that running back room uh, who have done some really great things here at Auburn so far. Uh, Jarquez is an incredible back. Uh, that entire room, Damari, Sean, um, even Jer Jeremiah, young guy coming up, and uh, Batty, all, all those guys are really, really good players. So we've got such a talented room that I would lean on the side that we have a really good run game. and. Um, We've seen production in the past, so I'm excited to see how that how that works out against another defense. Hopefully, um, our defense stops a run too uh, against UMass. Uh, Luke, you experienced a couple of weeks. One, Brian, how does this look different for you personally, and maybe you know, from a culture or locker room standpoint as well? Yeah, just just the excitement around campus, the excitement around uh, this university, the fan base. So much love being sent our way right now. So many people who are anticipating this first game. I feel like a lot of times with a culture like we have in a history that Auburn has, you, you kind of look forward to some of the later games or some of the prime time games, this and that. Um, I feel like this university and this football team is really looking forward to one week at a time, the first game, first time we can go out there and step on the field in front of 87,000-something fans uh, that are excited for this new era. So I, I think there's definitely more buzz around, and it's it's got us extremely excited for week one. Yeah, Luke, just getting the chance to see them play on Saturday, what did you see out of UMass's defense that presents some issues or just some things that kind of stuck out to you about them? Yeah, I mean, they, they 
are a team that plays uh, with really good effort. They do a lot of different things, trying to create chaos uh, for the O-line and, and tight ends as well, and the run, run game and pass game. So um, bring it a lot of different looks. Uh, they're gonna play a couple different coverages and, and, and they're gonna be who they are. They're gonna stay true to their identity and their guys are gonna play hard. So that's what I've seen, especially out of those uh, front seven guys who uh, really play a lot but play really hard, and um, yeah, they bring a bunch of different looks at you, so we'll be ready. Following up on what you were talking about, about just uh, the, the opening of the game, how do you handle some of that adjustment of, of not looking at some of those later season games like you were talking about and, and entering into this year with that weight almost of the expectation? Yeah, I think, I think the Auburn family has helped us out with that. I think, like I've mentioned, in, uh, previously in the past it's there's been some of that uh, leak in from the outside like okay we're looking forward to LSU Georgia Bama all this and right now I feel like with this new era the Auburn family is excited for week one they're excited for, for UMass um, all the season ticket holders uh, the records that, that are being broken and um, obviously we don't listen to too much outside noise but you hear some of it so um, it's it's helped to have the support of the Auburn family by looking at week one and week one alone, and really inside the locker room, just respecting every team. I mean, it, it, I watch UMass, and I can tell you one thing, they, they're a team that's progressed um, from last year, years before that. So just respect every team, um, and usually don't listen to outside noise, but right now the outside noise is saying we're excited for UMass, so we're listening to that a little bit. Yeah, I think in this in this era of college football, there's so much change already. Um, and for us as players of this great university, we've seen uh, such a historic university go through a lot of change. And um, I think it's a matter of how you take it, how you perceive it. Uh, a lot of people can see it as a negative thing. We can talk about all the negatives of everything that's happened in the past couple of years. Uh, for me, I've gotten to play for some great coaches. I've played for the best fans in college football. Um, and I have another year to do that. And we've got a team, like I said, who's grown closer through the chaos um, and kind of quieted all that chaos this entire off season. So I think it's shaped our team, like you said, it's it shaped our team and made us stronger and made us closer and made us more excited just to take it one game at a time. Luke, uh, what have you seen from Omar Haley um, since the spring, even since last year? Had a few catches, a few big catches last year. But what have you seen? Amar is a playmaker. Uh, when he first stepped on campus, I remember uh, vividly seeing him make plays, uh, his speed, uh, watching him run down. Uh, I remember watching him run down on kickoff for the first time. I was like, man, this guy has some wheels. I'd like some of those. I'd like to be able to run as fast as him. I can't. Um, he's a playmaker, but, but more than that, he's, he's a really good morale booster around the locker room. He's, he's always got energy. Uh, the guys in that receiver room, you can tell, there's a couple guys in that receiver room that bring the energy and people look to them. He's one of those guys. And uh, when we need a play, I feel like every time we need something and we're, we're flat or, or we go through the, the motions on offense, he's, a, he's one of the guys who gets us out of that. So that, that speaks a lot to his character, to his talent, and, and to his energy in the football team. Anything else?